Cleopatra VII Philopater was the last ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt, which had been established by Alexander the Great's general Ptolemy Isoter in 305 BC. She reigned from 51 BC to 30 BC, and is famous for her political alliances and romantic relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, two of the most powerful men in the Roman Republic. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC, the daughter of Ptolemy XII Aletes, who was a weak and unpopular king. She had four siblings, two brothers, Ptolemy XIII and Ptolemy XIV, and two sisters, Arsino IV and Berenice IV. According to the custom of the Ptolemies, she was married to her brother Ptolemy XIII when she was 18 years old, and they became co-rulers of Egypt. However, they soon fell into conflict over the throne, and Cleopatra was forced to flee to Syria in 48 BC. In Syria, she met Julius Caesar, who had just defeated Pompey in the civil war and was pursuing him to Egypt. Cleopatra saw an opportunity to ally herself with Caesar and regain her power. She famously smuggled herself into his palace in a rolled-up carpet and charmed him with her intelligence and beauty. Caesar was impressed by her and decided to support her claim to the throne. He also became her lover and fathered a son with her, whom they named Caesarion. Caesar defeated Ptolemy XIII in the Battle of the Nile in 47 BC and restored Cleopatra as the sole ruler of Egypt. He then took her to Rome as his guest, where she lived in a lavish villa on the banks of the Tiber. She caused a scandal among the Romans, who saw her as a foreign queen and a threat to their republic. Caesar's wife Calpurnia and his rival Cato were among her enemies. In 44 BC, Caesar was assassinated by a group of senators led by Brutus and Cassius, who feared his growing power and ambition. Cleopatra returned to Egypt with Caesarion and resumed her rule. She faced a new challenge from Octavian, Caesar's adopted son and heir, who wanted to avenge his father's death and claim his legacy. Octavian formed an alliance with Mark Antony, Caesar's loyal friend and general, who was in charge of the eastern provinces of the Roman Republic. Antony summoned Cleopatra to Tarsus in 41 BC to question her about her loyalty to Rome. Cleopatra arrived in a magnificent barge adorned with gold and purple sails, dressed as the goddess Venus. She captivated Antony with her wit and charm, and he fell in love with her. He followed her to Egypt and married her, despite being already married to Octavia, Octavian's sister. Antony and Cleopatra formed their own alliance against Octavian, who declared war on them in 31 BC. They fought him in the naval battle of Actium, where they were defeated by Octavian's superior forces. They fled back to Egypt, where they hoped to make a last stand. However, Octavian pursued them and besieged them in Alexandria. In 30 BC, Antony received false news that Cleopatra had killed herself. He stabbed himself in despair, but did not die immediately. He was brought to Cleopatra's tomb, where he died in her arms. Cleopatra tried to negotiate with Octavian, but he refused to spare her or her son. She realized that he intended to capture her and parade her as a prisoner in Rome. She decided to end her life rather than suffer this humiliation. She ordered a basket of figs to be brought to her tomb, which contained a venomous ASP hidden inside. She held the snake to her breast and let it bite her. She died peacefully, dressed as the goddess Isis. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the Egyptian independence. Octavian annexed Egypt as a province of the Roman Empire and became its first emperor under the name Augustus. He executed Caesarion and spared Cleopatra's three other children by Antony, Alexander Helios, Cleopatra Selene II, and Ptolemy Philadelphus. He sent them to Rome as hostages and later gave them to Octavia to raise. Cleopatra's legacy has been immortalized by many writers, artists, and filmmakers throughout history. She is remembered as one of the most influential women of all time, who defied the norms of her era and shaped the course of history with her courage and charisma.